Formula One's trip to the stunning Red Bull Ring circuit deep in Austria's Styrian mountains signals its real return to Europe with the next six races through Grand Prix Racing's historic heartland. They come in rapid fire too, with two double headers in July, separated by a single weekend as the sport travels between Austria, Great Britain, Hungary and Belgium. The Red Bull Ring is expected to be packed to the rafters this year, but it was a very different situation just three years ago, when F1 returned to competition just four months into the pandemic, requiring COVID-safe bubbles to get through 17 rounds in just 23 weeks. And it was a return to racing that the track welcomed with fanfare. Mr. Grunbinger, uh, with this amazing percussion, the, the, the music singing out across the hillside here in Spielberg. We had some NASCAR, we had an old classic Formula One car, and the noise of the engines with the, the, you know, the planes passing over, this amazing air show. And all of this came together with this beautiful orchestra of noise and percussion and, and, and great artists to, to say welcome to Formula One 2020. Ahead of the event, which would be held behind closed doors, the teams and drivers required track time to get up to speed, given the four months since testing and the cancelled Australian Grand Prix. Red Bull shook down its RB16 at Silverstone. It's certainly different seeing everybody working in face masks. You lose the expressions that you sometimes can read of either uh, elation or despair in a mechanic or an engineer's face, but I think it's something that we'll get used to. It's important for the safety of you know, of our team, um, of, of everybody, you know, around us in Formula One. While Ferrari blew away the cobwebs at home track Mugello. Well, I think having a tease at Mugello was nice, but getting back in the real car for the real thing is definitely, uh, you know, what we're looking forward to, going racing, competing with the others. Valtteri Bottas and Sir Lewis Hamilton won the first two races of 2020 for Mercedes. But this year, Max Verstappen can become the most successful driver in Austrian Grand Prix history and beat Alain Prost. And the Red Bull reign is expected to continue at its home track, with the squad and its superstar Dutchman on a golden run, fresh from success in Canada, where it won by a country mile, and has the strength in depth to continue its dominance to the end of 2023. Well, first of all, we're all competitive, we all want to win, but it's all about communication as well, right? I mean, I might be the only one in, in the car, but we're still communicating to so many people to make everything work uh, over the weekend and make sure that we, of course, have a good car. Located 200 kilometers from Vienna, the 4.318 kilometer circuit has just 10 turns, three left and seven right, for a top speed of 322 kilometers per hour. Spaniard Carlos Sainz reset the lap record in 2020 for his former team McLaren. And there are three DRS activation zones, one between turns one and three, another between turns three and four, and one on the main pit straight. Will it be more Red Bull domination as the hills come alive in Austria? Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.